in this spot for this link. Uh, the reason is, uh, is because the video that you are just about to see was actually filmed from this position. Early days of the Hilton Garden Inn here at Hatton Cross, London Heathrow. Um, now this is the Legacy series. We've got around about 70 videos or 70 live shows um, to bring you. However, we are probably going to be handpicking uh, individual shows uh, to bring you over a season um, on Saturdays. So what's interesting about this particular show and it is interesting, is that this was a time, remember, um, when the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 uh, was having tremendous issues. So this area behind me was littered with Dreamliners that were either engineless or had one engine, uh, Virgin Atlantic over the other side as well. A A A Airlines globally were affected by it. Air New Zealand's entire Dreamliner fleet was affected by it. Luckily, uh, this was at the early stage of the, of the issues. Luckily for Rolls-Royce, and I can't say luckily for many people, but luckily for Rolls-Royce, COVID came along and gave them a massive break with all the aircraft being grounded um, uh, through COVID, uh, allowing them uh, access to those aircraft quickly and to be able to get through the backlog uh, quicker than they probably would have been able to do. So, um, but this is 2018. This is pre-max grounding. Uh, this is a time when uh, the NEO uh, aircraft were few and far between. I think we just see maybe one here. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if British Airways are taking delivery at this stage, um, but you just see one Lufthansa NEO on this stream. Uh, me getting very excited about an A350 because of course this is a bit tight before um, British Airways and Virgin Atlantic got their A350. So this was the sort of like Soul A350. Virgin A346s, something that we love to see, but we massively take for granted. And of course, Boeing 747s with British Airways, multiple uh, 747s, again, taking massive, um, just the fact that they that, that there were so many still flying uh, we were sort of talking about the aircraft being retired um, but a lot of them were going through cabin refit meaning that they were going to be here for a lot longer um, by this time uh, United had retired their last 747 um, however there was no uh, talk of mass retirements uh, across the across the globe at this stage Virgin Atlantic at this stage not um, uh, announcing the retirement of their 747 fleet uh, that was not due to COVID by the way the 747 fleet uh, retirement with Virgin Atlantic that was in the plan anyway um, but uh, 346s you'll see here uh, Jet Airways you'll see um, a very short glimpse of a, of a Air Canada 767 um, and later on in the series you will see uh, the retirement show for the 767 with British Airways uh, so lots more stuff to bring you from other locations not just London Heathrow uh, in the series this is ser this is show number one I hope you enjoy it it's about three hours long cut down to just under one hour so um, sit back enjoy it and um, this is legacy show number one enjoy Here's another triple for you. Wow, a lot of American traffic this morning. I think that's uh, about four or five I've counted so far. How's that mic coming out? A little bit better, is it, folks? Andrew Thomas, this is champion. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian James. Done it for you guys. You say we've nailed it, we've nailed it for you. VS.
was some crazy reverse from him. Fair play. Eunice Livesey, good morning to you. Mark Webb, Caleb Weather Dude, good morning. Loving it. Looking very splendid as she always has done, but um, caged up uh, with nobody to uh, love her. Uh, she's obviously got um, signs of, uh, you know, degradation and, um, you know, rot starts to come in. Got a um, Dreamliner's engine being um, worked on down there. Not sure if it is um, related to the issues. Um, looks like that one over there, uh, one of its engines is okay. That's a remote stand Virgin using that remote stand quite a lot at the moment um, because unfortunately their Dreamliners are uh, redundantly sitting over there unfortunately. Coffee's in and watch this. So, looks like Virgin's Dreamliner. See so if we can get some uh, Wing Vapor. Flight. The amazing thing of flight. Okay, throw it on, throw those reverses on, mate. Finnair 350, 350, thank you so much for that, uh, Joe Cameron. Finnair's 350, here we go, we're gonna get a good shot of her. Get a little bit of vortex off that. Those inboard flaps, outboard flaps, sorry. One for old Rich Torb there. Bit of aero braking as per normal. Kind of standard procedure on the 330s. 747 going out. See the two different uh, Cathay Pacific uh, liveries there on the tails, the new versus the old. Odette Stevens, thank you very much indeed. That's a freighter, isn't it? 
Is that a freighter, folks? Kalita. It's Kalita 747. So obviously this is a an on-wing repair going on there. This is the one with a poppy on it. How uh, how appealing! Fantastic. Simon Goldsmith, thank you, sir. David Taylor, brilliant location, thank you. Let's all pay our respects to, uh, to all those guys that fought tirelessly in the war for us, folks. Tomorrow, give your respects. Chris Purcell's in the house. Good day, Chris. That's interesting. So that's a rogue arrival. Still managed to catch it. So it's a 400 with the right wing tip. Loving the uh, 4K on his big screen in Texas. Welcome, my friend. Mikey Van Der Aaron, loving that old 7.6. Queen versus King, head to head, right there. So he'll cross the active. Got uh, looks like we've got double movement there, folks. Etihad and Qatar. Rob H747 BA uh, inbound.
Have a safe flight, my friend. There's your Turkish triple right there, 300 ER. Big set of 115s bolted to her. Look at this massive uh, onslaught of 380s. Qatar's on his way out. Etihad's on his way out. Going to push in front of the uh, Emirates. Qatar coming out to join the 380 party. Just waiting for the 380. Uh, touchdown surely got one coming inbound haven't we folks give us a shout Ashley Smith flew back from Abu Dhabi London Heathrow on Etihad's 380 <laughs> Got a mass exodus over to YouTube at the moment, folks. You're watching on Stay Live. Get yourselves over there so I can have a chat with you. happens we'll be there United Bigfoot Matty Brown good day how are you doing Dean Reeves. Thank you very much indeed, Dan. I'll try and pick him up if I can. Do my best. Right, I'm going to try and go visual on that 747. So it should be to my south. Headed straight towards me, literally. <laughs> Foy Woodland, good day, Foy. Hope you're well. can really see the thrust action with the wet runway. It's not the max, okay. I saw the max going out yesterday, but no, that's not the max. I 
Oh, I've got a 346 inbound right behind it. Thanks for that, GP. Piero Davis, good name, the crow's nest. Like that. Oh, the gracious swan, as we call her. A346. Trent. Yeah, these are Trent Knights. No, they're not Trent Knights. They're, uh... Are they Trent, not Trent Fives? Is it because, is it Trent Fives? Or is it Trent Sevens? <laughs> Nicely done, son, nicely done. Robert John's loving the A346. Such a beautiful aircraft, man. There's so much to see on the airfield, man. That's the big thank you, 346, as well. Must look great on the big TV, man. Special livery stuff down there, unique stuff. They've got a BOAC uh, 777-300ER uh, with the BOAC livery on it. So um, just something that they had done. Okay. Delta, I don't think, or is it? I can't see, the sun's too bloody bright. Oh, look at the vortex off the wings. It is a Delta 330 as well. Check out the vortex.
KKC. <laughs> We've got a KKC giveaway. Oh, no way. Has he really? So this is training, obviously, for loading and unloading of uh, pallets, perhaps. Something down there with British Airways constantly uh, improving their services as much as they can. A little on-wing uh, repair going on right there. I think that's the APU running on that 747, not sure. Ian McMillan arriving in London Heathrow on Monday, uh, on, and then off out to Tokyo. Hannah Dye on Tuesday with two zoologists. John McDermott, Adrian James. Great vantage point up here. Of Hong Just a little learning lesson going on down there. It comes out that way, that goes in that way. Learning lesson, yes, good, isn't it? I'm stood standing here on my feet. Little learning lesson. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Life's great, isn't it? Once you said it, you said it, and that's it. No way of getting out of it, is it? I'm sat sitting. Yeah, I saw someone, who was it who ordered them? Was it Duncan who got the, uh, the orange Big Jet TV fleece? Really nice, man. Like that. That two 747s in a row going out for departures. Donna O'Brien loving it, JW. Shamrock emoji already. Are you still learning over there? Oh, hello. Another Dreamliner being pulled into uh, to gate. Loving the emojis, overdosing on them right now. Oh, big foot inbound, Michael Field. Thank you. Thanks for that, mate. And there it is. So we need one for the swan, don't we? In flight, in flight with its wing. Of course, the only other Bigfoot will be 351,000, 
Uh, we're not seeing too many of them at the moment, only uh, Qatar flying there, 351k into London Heathrow at the moment. So that is a big foot because she has a try on the carriage. So we need a we need a crown. We need a crown for king and queen, don't we? Okay. Emojis for you folks. There's Dean15464 giving the information on how to watch on an iPad. Thanks for that, mate. Always good to educate people um, on how to watch the show on different devices. Thanks for that, mate. One good thing is the uh, pumping it to your big screen TV, your smart TV. Here we go. Straight over the paddock there, folks. Of course, we'll be going straight over to the paddock as well. Not now, but uh, we will be going over to the paddock. Yeah, nice. Oh, Qatar 380 inbound, 11.25. Quite late in the day, that one. Colin, I think that's more like a princess, isn't it? This is nice, flyby. Seven right behind me, guys. Pitch lever for each prop. Okay, okay, so sorry. Not each blade, each prop. So two levers. And that is literally a case, I guess. Would I be right in saying that's just a pull, a pull lever to switch the uh, the pitch for reverse? little hatch here with a padlock on it and they uh, just break the glass smash it get the key and slide down the chute Stark contrast in the white. Okay, JW saying uh, Jet Airways now flying into Manchester with the 330. 
Wow. Um, is that something that I'm uh, unaware of? Have I not? I don't think we've caught the uh, Jet Airways 330 at um, Manchester. So thanks for that, J Dub. Appreciate it, mate. Oliver Wilkham saying, and here we go. Thanks for this, mate. Oliver Wilkham saying, on the Q400, you have two sets of levers. The condition levers for settling, uh, selecting the prop RPM and the power levers to set the torque and power. Thank you very much for that indeed. See how long he runs it out on aero brake. Still wheeling it. And there it is. Front end down. <laughs> Michael Field, time for breakfast. Look at the little frying pan. That's not fair, man. I'm starving. Oh, look, 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 look. There we go. Look at that, guys. Disappeared. Completely disappeared. Those XWBs, uh, listen.
beautiful livery, man. Toronto would be great to film from. Thank you very much indeed for that. And Ron bringing up spotterguide.net. Those guys at spotterguide.net, if you want to know anything about plane spotting at any airfield across the world, literally, uh, spotterguide.net is the best place to go. Most informative uh, uh, site that we could find for sure. Jet Airways thundering down the runway. There we go. My Van Aaron, see, he was listening. He was he was learning and listening. Lift dumpers. Love that word, lift dumpers.
pardon me. Wow, I got that down late, man. So you see two puffs of smoke come up first because the, uh, the drooping undercarriage, the, the back end of the mains comes in first, then the, uh, the front section of the mains come in, then that's another set of smokes. Still learning lessons. I don't know, I don't know, do we, do we? Triple seven three hundred fourth in. Thank you very much, Barry Moore, for that side of what's the A three eighty pass over his house now. Well, wow, how about that? sketch sort of having to uh, sort of like use his utilize his skills there quite a lot the old Kiwi obviously absolutely within procedures and no problem at all for it but even so regardless of how good you are you're always going to uh, wind will always play a determining factor when when it comes to landing an aeroplane Got it, what's alone? Look, that's why the wind's picked up. Look at these uh, cells starting to uh, appear. What is the physical time on the clock, as in? <laughs> That's funny, man. I love that one. So, what's the um, what's the um, any inbound 380s? Any inbound 380s before, uh, just in case, because before we close off.
Yeah, no tearing. No glitching, no. Okay, that's interesting. Air Canada's uh, little Max right there. Getting the push back. Yellow cocktail, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Watch those wings flex on landing. Seven forty seven, what 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 that was all about. Well, that's a bit of a heavy old uh Slam the front end in there. Probably not, but look like it anyway. Look at that lump. Oh, I didn't see that, uh, John Roycroft. Didn't see that vortex. Glad you picked it up, mate. Struggling a little bit, it has to be said. You know, I mean, I know they're not struggling per se, but the uh, the wind has definitely picked up. Certainly gusting, that's for sure. Oh. Yeah, do, they do look odd without windlets, it has to be said. Uh, for today's show, uh, we've got a, a little bit of archive stuff for you as well there. So welcome, David. Out there in lovely Norfolk. North Norfolk Radio, or whatever it is. <laughs> North Norfolk Digital, that's it. Got that Brussels departing, Carl. I saw it sneaking its way out. I've got to remember who won what. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's all I've got is in my pocket. Whoa! 
Here we go. Love you guys. Thanks a lot. Take it easy. See you later. Bye.